So sometimes we run into the situation where two different developers make code changes and those changes have to be merged together, but the merging it's, uh, leads to a conflict. Uh, Git doesn't know which is the real change. Can we simulate that here? We can simulate it. So let's go to the GitHub repository online on GitHub. Let's edit our view controller file. And instead of saying hello universe, let's change that back to hello world. With that, I'm going to commit our changes. Um, and let's leave it as update view controller dated view controller message and commit directly to the master branch. So commit changes. And notice that our view controller now says hello world instead of hello universe. If I go over to our Xcode, which keep in mind has not been updated with what I just did on the GitHub repository, it says say hello universe. I'm gonna change this to say hello solar system. So two Different developers have made a change on the same line of code. Git doesn't know how to handle that situation because it doesn't know who was right and who was wrong with editing that. So if I go up to source control and commit it, it behaves exactly like a commit. You won't ever see a difference. And I'm gonna say updated view controller message to solar system. So I'm gonna even commit that one file. And remember, committing is only a local save. So now we actually need to push this change. And once we push this change, it will actually yell that there is a merge conflict. Now that the commit has occurred, now let's push our change. Let's say this entire feature is feature complete. And now we want to push it to our online GitHub repository so other developers can see that change. So source control, push. Push local changes to origin master. And remember, another developer has come in to our GitHub repository, whether they push that code or done it locally on the GitHub repository, doesn't matter what, but they've also changed the say hello. So I'm gonna push this and let's see what occurs. The local repository is out of date. Make sure all changes are being pulled from the remote repository and try again. It is saying that the master branch that I'm trying to push into actually doesn't reflect the current state that I'm currently in. What it is requesting for me to do is pull down the new changes and then make the push. So let's go up to source control, pull, origin master, detecting conflicts in zero of one file. And notice that this is the same screen that we've seen a number of times already, but instead of being all happy in blue, we now have a red line. And notice we have two things. We have say hello low solar system on the left-hand side and say hello world on the right-hand side. Right-hand side reflects the GitHub repository. Hello solar system reflects our current local repository. So there's a few different options that I can select here and we get four of them down here at the bottom. I could choose that I just want the solar system in our code. I can say maybe the solar system wasn't the code I meant. I meant to have the one that the GitHub repository has. And you can do that by selecting hello world. Notice that it updates the, the message on the left hand side because the left hand side reflects the local repository and what we're gonna push up. And then we have two other options. One that merges it over with the GitHub repository on the bottom. And another that merges it over with the GitHub repository on the top and our local changes on the bottom. Dale, which option do you think would be best in this instance? So um, I'm gonna choose to go with Hello Solar System. And so that would be the choice and I want to comment on those kind of two end choices. So what that what they're saying is that uh, both lines of code are valid, um, and that's why it had two says. And then the question that you're answering is which line comes before the other if both are valid. 
But in our case, they're not both valid. We only want to say one thing. It wouldn't make sense to say two things. The UI wouldn't even reflect that. It would just end up with the last thing said. And so I'm just going to choose to say, hello, solar system. And this is your opportunity as the developer to realize there's a conflict in your code and to make the best educated guess of what is actually correct in that code. So with that selected, hello, solar system, notice there's no longer a question mark in this circle icon. I'm going to click pull. So now we have the change locally. So master here knows it. Right. So right now in our code, we have pulled down the changes that exist on the GitHub repository. We've pulled down say hello world, but we have overridden it with our commit that says say hello solar system. And now this hasn't been committed yet? It has been committed. Okay. And we can see that by going up to source control history. Updated view controller message was the one from the GitHub repository. Updated view controller message to solar system was one from our local repository. But the GitHub repository doesn't reflect that change yet. So Dale, how do you get the GitHub repository to reflect what's done locally? So if we go to source control, there should be an option to push it. That'll push it to the server. And we're gonna push it to master. And when it's done, if we go back over to GitHub and refresh, we should see it says, say hello, solar system. And our conflict is resolved. And we can now continue working on our project.